Yes. All right. Uh, weather wise now weather wise. We had a really nice afternoon. We enjoyed some dry time and I'm going to encourage you to take advantage of the dry next 24 hours or so. We're in the 70s, 74 Noblesville looks great from our camera there and at the golf course there in Indianapolis, 72, 74 Connorsville, a mainly cloudy sky in Montgomery County, Crawfordsville at 71. We will be mainly dry again tomorrow, like today. Might have a sprinkle or two under some of the thicker clouds. We'll be in the upper 50s and low 60s to start. 71 midday and highs tomorrow, middle and upper 70s. The weather pattern changes dramatically on Friday. We have rain and wind coming our way from Hurricane Helene. Friday night football forecast sustained winds near 30 miles per hour for several hours often on rain that will be heavy at times and those wind gusts for several hours will be in the range of 30 to almost 50 miles per hour or more. We have a very complex storm system headed our way, so we are alerting you now that Friday is a weather impact alert day all day long due to those strong winds. Power outages will be possible. We encourage you to prepare your home, your yard. Now that cell phone is going to need to be charged. Outer bands already as far north as parts of Florida. The hurricane warnings come to just south of Atlanta, Georgia. Expecting landfall between Pensacola and Tampa, basically in the Big Bend area of the coastal sections of Florida. The local impact will be the wind and the rain. Future Track 13, 8 o'clock Friday morning, the leading edge of those outer bands get here. We will definitely feel those impacts off and on during the day Friday. Strong winds and at times the heavy rain. That's the reason for that weather impact alert day. Uh, this weather system stalls just to our south, so we will keep that rain chance going for the weekend won't be quite as windy, but that rain chance continues Saturday and Sunday with highs in the middle and upper 70s.